So I'll wait to discipulate back once more for the perfect tense review notes. So the perfect tense, as opposed to the imperfect tense, the perfect tense is a completed action in the past. It's over, it's done with, it's a sh it's simple past. Simple past is a, sim is a way I often describe it. So the perfect tense indicates a completed action in the past. Okay, I'll often say it's the simple past. How do you translate it? Well, there are three possible translations depending on the context of your sentence and how you want it to sound. So, laudawi, I praised. This is your simple ed or just the simple past. If it's not like run, ran, you can't run. Uh, you can use have or has, so I have praised. And just a warning, do not use the word had, no had. We're gonna use that in a different tense. Or I did praise, okay? When in doubt, the simple past ED or the just the simple past is fine. Forms, how we do we form it? This is the easiest. There are no exceptions. It always follows these rules. First, drop the I from the third principal part. One, two, three, third principal part. Drop the I. What you're left with is your stem. Copy that stem, as we've been doing with all of our stems. Copy, copy, copy. And then add your perfect tense endings. E, is the, it, imus, is this, a runt. E, is the, it, imus, is this, a runt. And then you have. I loved, or I have loved, I did love, oops, you loved, he, she, or it loved, we loved, you all loved, and they loved. One more time, pause the video and try doing this on your own. Then play, hit play and see the answers. So I went to the third principal part, I dropped the I, I copied the stem down six times, and I added E, S, T, A, M, S, 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 A, R. I led, you led, he, she, it led, we led, y'all led, they led. And of course, you could use, like, they did lead, you all have led, that would be acceptable as well. All right. 